told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away Welcome back once again to CBSC Board Economics. My name is Saddam Hussain. Today we discuss another very important question in the chapter product method or estimating national income by product or net output method. The question is of course this is a part of the earlier question which we discussed how do you estimate national income by product method. But they, at times, they might ask you this question separately. What precautions should be taken while calculating national income by product method or output method or net output or value added method? Why do we take the precaution? That's a big question. Precautions, we take it while calculating national income. Why do we take precautions? Otherwise, there is a chance of miscalculation of national income. You may be taking values multiple times or maybe you are giving exaggerated wrong figures of national income. What precautions should you take one by one we follow? The first precaution is we should not take the value of intermediate goods. Otherwise, it leads to the problem of double counting. While calculating national income, take the value of only sugar, not the value of sugar cane because the value of sugar cane is included in the value of sugar. That's the first precautions. Number two, we should not take the value of second-hand goods. Why we should not take the value of second-hand goods? Because they have not been produced in the current accounting year. Their value was included in the year they were manufactured. There's a second point. The third point, however, if you are selling these second-hand goods through some commission agents or brokers who will be charging you for their service charges, brokerage or commission, that should be taken while calculating national income product method because they are contributing services. Have you got it? The first precaution is intermediate goods should not be taken. The value of second-hand goods should not be taken, but the brokerage paid to the dealers of second-hand goods should be taken. Then the fourth one. Imputed rent should be taken. Since the owner is staying in his own house, he is consuming the rent of this house. So, imputed rent of the owner occupied house should be included, which is a productive economic activity. The fifth point is value of goods kept for self consumption should be included because that's how that they have been produced within the uh, economy during this accounting year. For example, the farmer produced 10 quintals of rice and he has eaten two quintals for his family for self-consumption so we should take it as 10 quintals not 8 quintals because 10 quintals have been produced in the economy the value of goods kept for self-consumption should be taken the next precaution and the last precaution is own account production of fixed assets should be taken what is own account production in villages and all they must be making their own implements farm, imp farm implements they may be making their farmhouses they may be making some uh, implements for uh, cultivation of their land those should be taken because they have been produced so own account production of fixed assets should be taken value of goods kept for self consumption should be taken imputed rent should be taken second hand goods should not be taken intermediate goods should not be taken but the brokerage paid to the commission agent should be taken thank you guys for watching don't forget to sh subscribe share like and comment goodbye but i'm not you too late as you fade away